It's starting. Hello, family. Hello, hello, family. How are you? This is Mama Roxy Says. I'm here for your wallet, your purses, and your pocketbooks. Baby! Baby! Your hearts and your mask. I am here. That's my grandson, Davion. This is my granddaughter, Leah. This is one side of her hair. And we are going to do a hair tutorial. I'll be spectating unless they kick me out. Yes, he's going to get kicked out because he talks too much. I'm and gonna, he's too I'm loud. I'm going to shut my fat mouth up. So this is what I'm doing right now. This is our little time together. As we spend our time yeah. together. See? Out. Um, Out. Okay. And you guys can see how long and pretty her hair is so nice and thick look at it and she has her little bags with all her little hair products in there that's for her hair we got the olive oil detangler i'm going to show you guys and i want to be Baby, you're going to have to see about that with Nanny Nails. So, we'll figure it out in a minute. Okay. okay. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I use in my granddaughter's hair. And things like that. I got tons of brushes. And you, you need to go to the bathroom, you said? No. I, I said, I, I, no, I said, um, I got a lot of brushes. Yes, Zay, I'm going to choke you. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, I'm getting it together. I don't see no comb. What? Oh, hold on, let me look back. Can you turn it off? It's a comb somewhere. <gasps> hold on, y'all. But before the end, this right here is pink. This is the moisturizer that I'm going to use in her hair. This one right here. And I like to put the soft tea argan oil with the vitamin E, B, and B5 in there. Enriched with that. And it's by Softy. Those are the two things that I'm going to be using. I use a regular brush like this. Look at how that works. Yeah. So, we use that. So, the first thing I do is close. Camden, what did I tell you about that music? Close this door. So, this is how I bye use. Bye bye Camden, Davion, would you close the door? Bye bye right here, like this. And I just go in like this. This is how we do this. Say hello, Aaliyah. Hello. Tell them how old you are. I'm doing good. You're doing good. So, through all of this stuff that's going on, what you been doing? Um, really nothing. Watching TV all day. You ain't been doing no what? No. What? <laughs> I'm homeschooled too. She homeschooled too. Y'all heard that? I got homework at home. You got homework? That's what I'm talking about. So, I take her hair like this. And... I put it in through sections. I comb out just like that. You see that? It actually kind of feels good. It do. So I'm going to take this. I like that right there because of the the argan oil that's in it and all the little conditioning. I go this, like this. And I just grease down on one side. I work it all the way through so to give it a nice little shine. And then I take the brush and I go through and I do this just like this. I'm just asking you. Go ahead, Xavier. Dang. Now, I'm going to take this part right here and I'm going to section this off because I'm going to work with the back first. And I'm going to show you guys how I work there. I do one section at a time. It makes it easy on me. So turn around like this, Mama Sita. 
Yep, like that. And you guys want to see how this looks right here? Now, I got to find a comb. <laughs> I know. All right, you guys. I'm back. I got my little comb. And it's combed out like this. I'm going to go over here. What TV ain't working? Baby. Do when your dad come out, ask somebody to work. <laughs> Them two have got to argue over everything, y'all. I swear, they cannot do anything without arguing. Man. So, you guys, I hope everybody has been enjoying the videos. I have been having a ball making them. I have so many videos coming up for you guys. So, you guys see me when I took... So I'm going to take it since I'm working to here. I like to comb it all the way through. Nice little brush. Hold it up. And since it gets a little hard on the side, on the bottom, you hold so it until it brushes all the way through so you don't hurt them. Okay, since we're done with that one, now we're going to start with the first braid. I'm going to give her some big braids this time so we do not have to go through trying to get them down and they can stay up for a while. I ain't going to make them too little. I'm going to go medium size with them. So you go and you get you a nice little part going on right over here, making sure all the parts that you want all of the hair is even okay so I get the hair and I go like this I get all that out the way and you start from right here like this you start from right here just like this okay this is how we going just like that and you go it's three parts one two three and you twist like that. You put them a little tight so they'll stay together. And you just keep turning. This is how I'm braiding, you see? Just like this. And you continue until you keep going all the way to the end. This is my first braid. This is what's going to start us off to something real pretty. And her hair is so long and thick. I'm just, it's not thick, it's long and luxurious feeling and healthy feeling, which I just love. And I'm getting all the way to the end, just like this. She is such a good man, y'all. She's so patient. And this is how long it is. And this is how it looks. Just like this. I'm going to turn her this way. So y'all can see the bed. I'm going to go again. Just like that. Keep it into my cute little braid section. And you see how I'm parting it. And you're going to split it up one, two, three, right? And to make them tight, you're going to twist them together just like that. And this is how I'm braiding. And you just continue to keep going. This is how I'm going to continue all the way to the back of, to her head, to the back. And we'll be right back to show y'all the finished back. All right, you guys. This is the third braid that I'm doing. And my baby won Borettes on the end of it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how 
I put herborates in. You wait till you get to the break all the way to the end, right? Just like this. And you take the borette, you see the hair, and you start from the little part first, and you roll. Just keep rolling. Just like that, and I'm going to do it again, right here. And take the borette, just like this. Go all the way to the end, and you roll in it, just like this. And that's how you put the borettes on the end of your baby's hair. Now, I'm going to go to my next set of braids. And I'm going to show you once again. You're making three parts. One, two, three. And you're going to take them, put them together, kind of tight. Not too tight, but tight. And you're just going to twist them in just like that. Braiding them in, taking them just like this. That's good enough, babe. Just like this. You see how good that is? Look at it. Beautiful. That's all you need? Yep, for, for this one. Then the next set, I want you to fan these. Hmm? All right, you guys. This is, turn around. Turn around all the way. This is what the back is looking like. This is what the back is looking like. And it got her little boris on the bed. And this is how this looks. So turn back around the other way like this. Your knees turn this way. All right, you guys. So then after I finish, you know, I didn't grease this section. I just greased the other section. And it's ready to comb. So with me doing your hair, does it hurt? No. Okay. Do you like getting your hair braided? Yes. Sometimes you do? <laughs> no, not sometimes. What was that like? Why? Because it hurt? Yes. She do it too fast. Oh, she do it fast? Yes. Oh, baby. Now you don't do nothing fast, honey. I like to take my tan. That's why I like when you do it right here. Alright, we're going to take her cute little self. And I want to start right here, right now. So I'm going to make a good little part. I don't want no little braids right now. Because I know her mind be having a heck of a jack of a tan taking them out. And I know. Like that. So I'm going to go like this. Make us a nice little even part. Going down the middle. I like to make sure my part is very even and then I like to measure to see how the hair is this thin I don't want it to be thin so I'm gonna go back again and I make another pretty part to add more hair and this style right here could last her for about two two to three weeks. It all depends on how she sleeps, if she sleeps with her bonnet on, or if uh, they tie her hair down. So if she sleeps with the bonnet on and they tie her hair down, it'll probably stay up a little longer. But you don't want her hair to tangle. So I'm just going to put in a little braid until I get to the next step. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do. Like that. She's so serious, ain't she? <laughs> so, what I'm finna do to this one, come here, baby. Like that. And I want you to do just like this. So, I'm gonna still take these two, three little breezes of hair, just like this, you see? And I'm gonna run it through there. I'm keeping them. The reason I keep doing that is I'm keeping them from getting tangled. 
and I'm making a French braid. French braid and right down the middle. Y'all hear her sister? Yeah. That's her sister screaming. <laughs> and I'm going to keep on going until I get all the way down to where the part stops. As you see, when you're French braiding, sometimes y'all, it gets tangled. So just take your time. Don't pull the hair. Just go through and just detangle just like this so it don't hurt them. I try not to, uh, I could braid tighter, but I don't want to do that to her. She's young. I don't need to pull all her little follicles and everything like that. So I'm just taking it slowly. Taking my tan and just enjoying the braid and her patience because she's so patient. She really is, y'all. She a joy to do her hair. I man, I haven't had a little girl. Well, yes, I have and my other granddaughter, but she older. She's so old right now. Seven. Yeah, and my other granddaughter is 17, 17 or 16. I think she's 16. A money. Y'all, how old is a money? 16, right? Yes. Yep, she's 16. We'll be back, Mom. Okay, baby. Thank you. Mm hmm. Be good, girl. Yep, so this is how it's looking. I'm going all the way down to the bed. So when you are French braiding, you real, real tight to the scalp. That's how you are. And then when you get past the scalp, you're going to continue to open up the braid like this. And I lean back because <laughs> my back be killing me. And you just go like this. And this is how I do the top part of the French braiding of her hair. I have to turn her around the next section and, and make another part for the top. But this is how I French braid my baby's num hair. Raise up, lean forward just like this. And I always try to braid completely to the ends so it won't get fuzzy in her uh, barrettes. So I'm going to show you guys all the way to the end. Just like this. Okay, you go all the way to the end. I'm going to take the barrette the same way to the end. Take it, and you're going to roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. You want to roll it to the point where it is not going to come out. Where she, and this is what it looks like at the top. Just like that. All right, y'all. We are back. She got her two braids for the top of her head. And this is how they look at the top. And because I don't like being ordinary when it comes to her. <laughs> she is not ordinary, honey. This is my little bang bang right here, honey. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go like this, and you see how I just parted it, but I want a little half from right here that I need to connect her braid for me, okay? You see me right here, I'm parting it, it's, it's like an L shape, that's what it's like, okay? And I'm going to take it. And I need to braid it back up so it don't get in my way. I could just put the rubber band on it, but it's still gonna be right there. So y'all hear my granddaughter in there talking mess. Now you see I had to, because of what I'm finna do now, I want it to be different for her, right? We not ordinary, we extraordinary, ain't that right, little girl? 
I don't know what she's doing, y'all. I really don't. So I'm going to take this one and hide that right here. And I'm going to need you to turn this way. Turn all the way around. Now, y'all, I'm going to this side because I'm going to do almost the same thing. Almost. I'm going to take a part just like this. Same way. And it's going to go back there like that. And I got to make sure this is combed. I like doing different things with her. I like for her to be so pretty. But I like for her to be different. Because she is different. Ain't that right? Yes. That's right. <laughs> so you guys, hold on. I'm right now. I'm going to take it. Stiff this right here for right now. And I'm going to have her to lean to the side. Excuse me, baby. And I'm going to take this little hair with the three pieces, getting real close to the scalp. And I'm going to keep from starting to the side. And I'm going to go like this, making sure that I don't hurt her or try to braid too tight because you're on the scalp. Okay? So then I'm going like this. And I'm going to follow the hair. You see how the hair is going? Now I'm going to go up with this braid. Because this braid goes up. Hold on, Mommy. We got to make sure we keep being from untangled. Because I swear, it don't matter how good the hair is, baby. It still get tangled. It really does. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to turn her around in a minute so you guys can see her. Hold on. I'm trying to get everything I think I can. Am I hurting you? No. Okay, I just want to make sure. Y'all hear my granddaughter growling? She growling at my grandson, uh, Zayn. <sighs> Y'all, this is the way I'm keeping busy now. Turn yourself. Just, just, just like that. See, just like that. And I'm going to go over the top of the braids you just seen me do. I'm going over the top of them. And it's going to pick up any extra hair that's laying around up there. Y'all, I really enjoy doing her hair. I think doing, to me, a little girl's head is so much easier than doing a little boy's head. Because when I had to do my son's hair, oh, good googly moogly, I had to sit her dad down and tie him up <laughs> with a scarf so I can get him to sit down so I can comb his hair. And believe me, he cried the whole entire time. He has he had hair just like hers, long, and her, but his was so thick it was crazy. And it's the same thing goes for my grandsons. I had to tie man. You have to wrap your legs around them. You had I had to do everything just to get their hair together. But her, no, my granddaughters, uh uh, no, it's them dang on boys, girl. Y'all trying to get their hair together? Ooh, good googly moogly. Man, they will cry. They going to fight you half the time. They going to scuttle and scrape. I was like, oh my God, I did not want to do them. I had to get prepared. Hold your head up, son. I had to get prepared, y'all. And I did not like it. <laughs> they ass was horrible. I'm like, oh, and the screaming? Oh, my God. Camden, he was a screamer. You could be trying to put a ponytail in his head. He was screaming to the top of his lungs until he fell asleep. Yes, so I'm hoping that uh, my other granddaughter, when she get here, <laughs> 
But uh, she be the same way as this one right here. Real patient, relaxed, and just wonderful. This is what I'm hoping. Because she is amazing. And I'm going to turn you all around in one second. I'm going all the way to the big where the rest of her braids started at with this braid that I just completed. It kind it, of feels like it's almost already done. Almost? You don't have long. Dang! Yes. That was quick. I know, right? I didn't even say a word at all. You didn't say not ow. You didn't say nothing. You did. Excellent. You are doing excellent. What you are doing? A video of her hair. He knows that already. He knows that. Yes, you did. You didn't tell me. You see it. Y'all dealing with these kids. Cameron used to actually cry a lot when he got his hair done. Yes, so you, ooh, yes you did, boy. You no. was a screamer. Y'all, my grandson would scream like I was killing him. Then no, my don't... nanny used to scream like, like someone was shooting him. Or shooting her. Whatever. You just a tattletale. You don't even know what you're talking about. Y'all, let me tell y'all. He did not like getting his hair combed. He still don't like getting his hair combed. But he's bald. No, he's not bald. He, he just, uh, it's about time for another haircut, right, Cam Cam? You were bald when you first got your haircut. No, well, no, he wasn't. He had a whole lot of hair. So he's just going to keep braiding until you get to the end. Y'all can, can see a picture on my phone that I have crazy hair. We know that you had crazy hair. They seen you before. All the I way to the that. end. Yeah. He have a crazy picture. Now, turn around so they can see. Now, you guys, <laughs> this is the braid. It, it goes done. all the way around, and it goes all the way back here. Too. It just looks like it's done. Right now. Like no, it's, it's not. Boom. It, it, it's not. No, it's not. It, it, it's, it's not. We still only have two borers left. Uh-uh, you got a lot of borers. You're going to have to dig back in that. Hey, you guys, this is a. Oh, I broke my nail. It's okay, Manny. Oh, that's okay. I ain't tripping. Uh, this is. Let him hold your head up first. This is what it looks like right now. This is her. Look at her. Ain't she cute? Look at this little mean thing behind me. Because I'm going to my dad will let me watch something. Shut up. This is this side, the left side of it. This is what it looks like. You're going to turn on around and you're going to go this way. Y'all right see the braids right here. Now when she hold her head back, it looks like tic-tac-toe. <laughs> That's a tic-tac-toe on my head. So, and these are the little boy reds that you got. She can take it and she can also pull it up like this and she can have a ponytail if that's what she wants no, you want to leave it down yeah. and that's I what she it. wants and you see the little design right here and that's how we do hair so what do you think of your hair I like come it. over so they can see you i like it you like it i like it too it's cute it didn't even hurt a bit it didn't hurt a bit no -uh. She didn't even know I was finished. She said, are you done? I was like, yes, I am. She was like, oh. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You're doing Yes. Yes. I am so glad that you like it. And uh, this is all the things says. that I used for her hair. Mama Roxy says. And this never grease right here. I never want to get Fortnite. Excuse me. And all her little bored that you can find at the beauty supply house. Um uh, Dollar Tree. And make sure that. you don't um make enjoy sure. coronavirus and suck. <laughs> she said make sure y'all don't enjoy the coronavirus y'all. I hate them. And the people at school, make sure you subscribe to our videos. Yes, please do. 
I love you guys very much. Uh, it will be pictures at the end of the video as soon as they upload to the computer, you guys. I love you guys and see y'all later. Bye. Deuces. Uh, it's another picture time with your hair.